Hey there guys, it's your favorite backyard geographer out in the field in Goleta, California, just a little bit west of Santa Barbara at the Coronado Monarch Preserve on the Elwood Mesa. We're here for a couple reasons. One is to check out the Monarch Preserve and to really discuss why California's climate is perfect for the life cycle of the monarch butterfly. So our story begins in Mexico in the summer when the cocoons begin to hatch. The monarch butterfly is terribly hungry uh, and starts eating up just about everything it gets its hands on. At that point, once it becomes very full, uh, about October is when they migrate back here, and well, there's several different zones, but this is a particular site in Goleta, uh, from which they're going to then hibernate for the winter. Um, they don't technically like really hibernate like a bear does, uh, but they don't eat anymore. Uh, what they will do is they stay just enough active um, to be able to consume the condensation or the dew that's found on these eucalyptus trees during the winter season. So at that point, uh, they stay very mildly inactive and then by spring is when they start to mature and that's when they wake up again and they'll begin their migration back to Mexico. Uh, the average monarch will lay between three and 500 larvae uh, and then kind of complete that cycle all over again. Once they lay the larva, they only live uh, for just a couple weeks and so their their life cycle is uh, relatively short but it's very interesting that you know within that short amount of time you have the larva cocoon butterfly eat and then they fly essentially across the continent <laughs> to here and just begin their story so why Galita? Well, it has a lot to do with its geography, its climate. So it has a wetter winter, but it's much more mild because it's right along the coast. So that really helps make a difference uh, within that. So it doesn't get a traditional freeze. However, the monarch butterfly can survive some freezes, but they thrive best in a latitude of about 25 to 35 degrees north. Come visiting this preserve is actually something you know important to see because again, one, one butterfly within its cycle when it heads back down to Mexico can lay between three and 500 eggs. So why the clusters? Um, there's a couple of reasons why. One is that it, for predator's sake, they're less likely to be attacked because they're in larger clusters or groups. Uh, the other thing is you'll notice that they're in these eucalyptus trees and when their wings are closed, that actually matches the foliage within the tree itself. Did you know that in 2017, the Doppler radar based out of Colorado picked up a 70 mile wide cluster of monarchs that were migrating? Hey, another fun fact about the Elwood Mesa is that 1942 Japanese subs bombed the Mesa because of the amount of oil wells that were found here. It was the only direct attack on California during World War II. On the count of three. Oh. Hey, another fun fact. So we are here on the sea cliff on the mesa here at Elwood. No, da da da. 